You may notice the signs of a sinking home foundation before you realize what is actually happening. Helical piers are a great solution for fixing a sinking home's foundation. Stay tuned and I'll tell you how helical piers are installed. Hi, I'm Nolan Beery and I'm the Director of Sales Development at AccuLevel. The installation of helical piers is a process. In this video, I'll explain the installation process of the helical piers from start to finish. Before we go any further, please give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. Let's get started. So when it comes to preparing for helical piers to be installed in your home, there's a few things that we need to look at. If the helical piers are being installed on the outside of your home, we're going to need access to first be able to excavate to get to your footing and then to be able to actually install the piers. So this looks like we're going to come in, dig a three foot by three foot diameter hole down to your footing, and then we're going to screw in that helical pier. So what we have to look at is there HVAC system sitting right up next to the home? Is there decks, patios, garages, any other structure that could prevent us from doing that work? Now, if you have a deck, we can simply remove the deck boards and a couple of those joists for the deck to be able to do the work. Those can then put, be put back after we're done with the installation. The HVAC can be temporarily disconnected and pulled off the side of your home for us to do the work, then put right back as soon as we're done. And so your project advisor will go through those kind of things and what options that we have. Now, if there's just too much on the outside, um, for you to do, then we explore the option of doing those helical piers on the inside, whether it's in your crawl space or in your basement. First, we're gonna excavate the footing. We're gonna expose that footing so that we can see it and so that the helical pier can go right down beside it. A typical footing can be up to 16 inches wide. You have your eight inch wall in the middle and then you're gonna have a four inch lip on the inside and the outside. Now, the most important thing when we install a helical pier is making sure that that bracket is right underneath the foundation wall because that's where the structure's load is sitting. And so we're gonna actually bust off that four inch lip. Sometimes it's two inches, sometimes there's no lip at all, but to make sure that we get that bracket right up next to underneath that foundation wall, then we're gonna bring in what we call a torque head. So think of this as a hydraulic screwdriver. It's ran off of hydraulics from either a mini excavator or a handheld unit that we can use. And this is hooked up to a seven foot section with what we call helixes on it. If you think of it as the things that stick out from a screw that actually gives it the screwing ability. We're gonna start screwing that in with that torque head, add extensions as needed till we achieve our capacities. The final thing with the helical pier is the brackets attached to the pier and set right up underneath your foundation to either be adjusted into an attempt to lift your home's foundation or to just stabilize. Then everything is just simply backfilled and those piers are there to stay forever. The main thing that you're going to see after the installation process and especially if it's on the exterior of the home is the soil's going to need to settle over time. So as we excavated those three foot sections to put those helical piers in to expose that footing, you have to backfill those. That soil's not gonna just naturally be as compacted as it was, and if we compact it, then there's a high likelihood that you'll get a dip in the first two, three, four rains. So this is gonna be a little bit mounded, and it's gonna just need time. So you may have to run out there, occasionally hit it with a rake, kind of smooth it out, as the rains come, as the seasons just compact that soil over time. The other thing is if there's concrete, a sidewalk, a patio, a driveway on the outside, we're gonna concrete patch that. So we have to bust out that concrete to expose that footing. We're gonna re-pour that. Outside of just those cosmetics of the landscape and that kind of thing, once those piers are in, they're adjusted, they're there to stay. They don't change, they don't get adjusted, they're there with the life of the structure to be sure that your home is secure and doesn't settle anymore in the future. To schedule an appointment with one of our project advisors, give us a call or go to our homepage, acculevel.com, and click the book a consultation button. Fill out the form and we'll contact you within the next business day. Do you have questions about how helical piers are installed? If so, please leave them in the comments below. Check out the description for more videos and blog articles on crawl space and foundation repair. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. 
We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.